the thing I read in DFW, you know, there are about 700,000 apartments uh, in DFW. And uh, they range from efficiency to four bedrooms, maybe four bedrooms. I haven't, I haven't come across probably four bedrooms, but I, I, I'm sure there are. And of the rent growth, the percent rent growth last year for each unit size, um, so efficiency, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, and I'll throw in fourth just in case there's a couple. Well, the highest percent rent growth was an efficiency apartment. They had the highest percent increase in rent last year. But there are only 19,000 of those in all of DFW. So if you do that percentage, it's about 2.6% because I rounded down. There's 714,000 apartments in DFW. 19,000 of them are efficiencies. So 2.6%. What I find interesting is... It, well, first off, it kind of makes sense because um, you have uh, smaller unit sizes, uh, so in the the lowest amount of rent. So when you've got a lot of renters, well, you're going to have a significant demand, uh, and if that's the cheapest option, then a lot of a lot of people will want the cheapest option. But what I find interesting about it is when I started in apartment investing, I used to only want one and two bedroom apartments and predominantly two bedroom apartments because they were easier to rent or so I thought because with the two bedroom, when the times get tough, you can always, um, you can, you can always rent someone who's looking for a one and just fill your two with that person who's looking for the one bedroom. You can, you know, a person who's looking for the one They'll rent a two bedroom if the price is right or a concession or something is fine uh, or, or is, is um, what they're looking for. But if you have all one bedrooms and someone needs a two bedroom, they've got you know, a, a significant other and a kid or two, well, they, they can't have a one bedroom. Doesn't, that doesn't make sense. And so there's less flexibility. So you have more flexibility with two bedrooms. But what this article was saying is there's such a small percent of efficiencies, at least in DFW, but likely other markets, that they go like crazy and the rent just increases uh, uh, more so than any other unit size. And um, that's because of recent college graduates. They need a place to live and they're, for the most part, not with moving in with someone. Um, and young professionals too who are out of college for three, four years, they still might be uh, living in an efficiency. And so uh, the takeaway here is when you're looking at a apartment community and you see just efficiency units, don't necessarily dismiss that as an opportunity because it might be an opportunity for you to have greater rent increases um, relative to if it was a one, if it was a two bedroom, all two bedrooms. Now you'll want to make sure you look at what the a vacancy rate is for that unit type within your submarket, within your market. So you want to make sure there's demand and you want to logically know where those renters are coming from. Is there a college close by or is, there, um, is that an area where young professionals like to reside? Knowing those variables, you could very well come across an opportunity that's all efficiency where you initially would have dismissed it, but now after hearing this, Perhaps you'll take a second look at it. Oh yeah, I, I thought I've seen I've been seeing uh, something similar in, in Florida. There's there's not many efficiencies here. I'm not sure what the number is, um, but I, I haven't seen that many on rent rolls. But for the uh, for the one bedrooms compared to the two bedrooms, the um, the rent per square foot is you know ten twenty sometimes even thirty cents higher for the one bedrooms and for the the the, the large two bedrooms. And when doing rent comps across two bedrooms, it's not necessarily you know, the the it's more of it's a two bedroom two bedroom rent for this no matter what size they are because you have a massive two bedroom renting at you know nine hundred bucks and then a smaller two bedroom renting at you know eight seventy five and the dollars per square foot are you know way off because they're renting for the exact same so I've, I've seen something similar in, in Florida. Some two so two things to consider both from an econ economy standpoint and also from um, you know sele selecting the assets that you want to underwrite and perhaps pursue to purchase.